Hello, this is Victor at RestoreMercedes.com. This video is for Mike in Connecticut. Um, okay, Mike, so here's your car, and uh, generally this is a 1995 S600 Coupe, two-door, and this problem is found in pretty much all V12s from 92 to 95. Okay, so partially the car is disassembled i mean the top cover on the air cleaner is removed but that can remain the computers are removed the casing is removed and um, the wiring harness covers they're all removed uh, air cleaner on the side is removed as well so what i want to show is the problem with the mass airflow sensor wires many people ask what's happening with these and why is it so important and what are the symptoms so basically here, just uh, move this stuff around. This is how I got the car, so it is just uh, how it came. The wires on master flow sensors, they go bad. As you can see here, they're completely disintegrated. Just shorting out and, you know, not good. And that happens throughout the whole length. On both sides you can see this wires over here then there is a second mass airflow sensor the same story happens here and this one is not as terrible but it's already shown signs of cracking if I just touch it insulation flakes right off so obviously the worst is at the connector right here because that's where they tight with each other and sort of braid it together the injector harness was replaced you can see wires are nice in there that's a replacement engine harness here so um, that needs no attention at this point I also would like to note this car has only 57,000 miles so this is what happened in 57,000 mile vehicle see these wires here uh, insulation falls off now one might think that you can just make a little extension and just cut off bad portions and uh, keep the rest of the wiring loom in place but what happened to my car is I did that exact thing I just cut off bad sections and um, all the way from one side to another and around this area around this area where there's least heat I rejoined them and the original wiring harness went down to computers and I thought everything would have been fine until one day the wire shorted out in there this loom supposed to be wrapped and they shorted in there inside because the wires disintegrate all the way as you can see there's your um, wiring that goes from the driver side mass airflow and they go all the way down so they start shorting down in there you will never see it the biggest issue with that problem is that if your mass airflow sensor is not giving the correct reading, then there is a big possibility of engine basically being flooded with gasoline. And you wash out your oil on cylinders, on cylinder walls, and you basically melt your engine because there's too much gasoline going in. It's a V12, it'll still have power, but um, it will be reduced. In my car, one side would read like about 100 kilograms per hour whereas another side read 12 so it's 100 times more parts of gasoline per air so I caught it right when it happened so I redid it all uh, to the computers because right now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pull these plugs out and I'm gonna solder directly from underneath the computer rerun all these wires to mass airflows <clears throat> it's a big job but um, the wiring harness itself I actually do have a harness that somebody mailed me to, to work on. They removed the harness from the vehicle because they could not ship the vehicle over. And I'm going to do it on my bench. And I will make second part of this video showing that how bad that harness is when it's off the vehicle. Like how long it is. It actually is very long and it's lots of work to remove it. So ideally you do not want to do so. If I have the car I can redo it on the car. So you have to pull out all of these computers, boxes underneath, all the connectors. Uh, you have to get the wires that go inside the vehicle, disconnected from there. It's a massive amount of job. It's just way too much. 
all of these come out this is the part of this harness the ignition module wires they all just basically come out the bottom connector for the engine harness comes out it's a huge harness I'll make a video I'll show you how it is when it's all laying on the floor removed from the vehicle uh, it's a rare uh, rare kind of um, uh, harness and nobody really you know very few people see how it is so I'll show that um, another problem is of course my throttle bodies somebody cut into the throttle body loom throttle body short out as well as you can see some shorts here uh, wires disintegrate completely so that is another thing that I'm going to do throttle body wires rebuild throttles both sides to the motors that's what wants all the uh, power steering, uh, not power steering, water pump is leaking, but that's the least of the concerns at this point. There's also a little bit of a damage on the ax lateral acceleration sensor. There's a little bit of corrosion here. It looks like there was some melting accident here. I don't know how it happened, but I would replace that uh, because it's very, very hard here. I mean, I don't know what happened there, but I'll take care of that later. Right now is the mass air flows. So, mass air flows disconnect from here. You can see that's the length of the harness here. So, obviously this is not fun. Okay, so this is some job. And uh, I'll do it, I mean, you know, this is some devoter valve. This goes underneath here. See, that's, this actually runs. This loom runs together with, the, with this loom. So they run together, but then they split. This connector goes onto the that's EGR, I believe EGR activation valve, vacuum diverter valve. Okay, so this is basically the harness here on the vehicle, and next video will be of the harness that is removed of the vehicle, so you can see how long it is. Just to give an idea, so at some point it is actually probably cheaper to mail the car over to do this than to remove it off the vehicle and reinstall it. So. I do. I prefer to do these wires, wiring job when the car is here, so I can. I don't remove and gut the whole harness out. I'll just run new wires all the way to the connector, and pack it all back together. So it'll be nice. All right. Well, second part is coming up. This was Victor at RestoryMercedes.com. Thanks for watching. Hello, this is Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com and this is the second part uh, video, uh, this is the second part for video about uh, mass airflow sensor wiring issues on Mercedes, uh, Mercedes V12 models M120 engines 92 to 95 <clears throat> V12s, pretty much applies to all of them because this problem is found in all 92 to 95 V12s by Mercedes. Now in the first part I showed uh, where mass airflow sensors are and showed wires being on the vehicle, like the actual harness being on the vehicle and parts that are bad on it. Now <clears throat> this harness right here came from a shop to repair broken portions, repair shortened portions. Now whoever removed this is a very skilled man because to remove this harness is a very lengthy process and there's a lot of things to go through to get it out. And this is pretty much, um, you know, very qualified work. I mean, it's just a lot of things can be broken and um, lots of components removed and clips and ties and this and that and covers and just you name it, it's, it all has to be done before you remove the harness. Computer box has to be... <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Computer box had to be open, um, and some wires had to be fed through firewall, and it, it's 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 massive. It's massive. So my hat is off to the person who actually removed this one. Um, this is great. Now the um, problem here is that mass airflow sensor wires. So mass airflow sensor wires are here. Here's one of them right here. This is the mass airflow connector number one. As you can see, somebody tried to patch them up. And the second one back here. And also the wires here are cracked. If you look closely, they're not in greatest shape. Well, 
maybe I can show some other portion right here, for example. Right here. Now to get this, <clears throat> um, these mass airflow sensor wires are built into what's called engine harness body mounted harness and um, it basically connects like lots of things. Um, the connectors here are where computers plug in. This is LH module computers, LH1, LH2. I believe this is a diagnostic one. Um, CAN buses communication between computers uh, some power core I mean power wire whatever this thing is these wires go inside the engine inside the cabin and they go from here all around and um, uh, oxygen sensors so oxygen sensor connections uh, this is some breaker point breakout point inside the car <clears throat> this wire if I remember correctly, that's for a little fan that uh, circulates air. Basically, just pulls air out from computer box to keep it cooler. This connector here is main connector for injection injectors wire and harness. The injector harness plugs into it and continues its run to injectors and temperature sensors and camshaft advancers. So that's the connector there. Again, this is some something else like some diver valve or something. Ignition module number one. The I believe this was in as a crankshaft sensor connection breaking point. This is this one is for um, basically this is the sensor that goes into HVAC like uh, the the fan box it's in the center of the engine under the hood that's where the fan is it's like a long elongated box and then at the end there's a is a exterior air filter this one goes in there um, now I keep going further this one is also ignition module second ignition module um, another some this is I oh I think I know the, what this one is if I remember correctly this would be MOT, that little uh, gas tank fumes um, diverter valve that opens up charcoal charcoal canister feed, so the fumes are being sucked into the through the charcoal back into the intake. Um, there's some uh, power or ground cable, and um, I think it's a power one. So we know this one. That I don't remember. I'm sorry, I mean, so many connectors, I, I don't remember them all. <clears throat> this is ground right here. This one goes into the fuse box on the driver's side. So you have all the power connections here. Now, let's go further. And this is broken, so I don't even know what that is. I have to check uh, the... This might be like an air pump or something like that or some some lights this one is in you know this is a, the the temperature sensor the intake air temperature sensor another another ground or positive this one was this one went to um, I believe these are for fans there it goes these are fans uh, the auxiliary electric fans and air conditioner fans, the one that blow in front of the radiator, electric ones. This one is the fan, electric fan resistor. It's just, it's also sort of damaged to me now. I'm going to have to work on that one too. Now, so we covered that portion. So we have second bank. This is also intake air temperature sensor. So, so I think I got it correct. Here is our mass airflow of course we have EGR diverter valve we have ignition module we have crankshaft sensor here we see it's the EGR on the second side this is some other diverter valve I believe it's for the um, this one is for the oh boy what's the name of that 
the uh, in the air injection pump it's like the air pump that activates when your car is cold to lower emissions it pumps air into your into your <clears throat> exhaust manifold to burn excess rich mixture because it's enriched when the car is started and this is the valve to open this is the this is for the vacuum valve that opens up the intake so it opens basically it opens the exhaust to let air in um, exhaust manifold so there's a valve for that and this is the uh, this is the connector for it I, I believe so what else well, these are two grounds here you know this is a couple of grounds so as you can see this is pretty big I mean maybe I missed something maybe I swapped something out I mean I'm not sure I just there's too many wires to remember so but this is what I'm gonna do basically I'm going to redo bad portions I just wanted to make the video before I redo bad portions and after I also will find a couple of connectors that are broken off and replace them as well some of them uh, they just this one for example is okay but this one obviously isn't because there is no connector on it it's supposed to be something on it like such so this is where we stand at this point so I'm gonna rewire it to the you know all these bad portions wrap them up again and then we'll do cosmetics uh, in terms of connectors broken clips and such uh, but um, the most important is to get these wires to work I mean I can do this job if the harness is mailed to me but again this is a huge job to remove it and uh, you know again whoever did this did a, he did some massive amount of work to get it out um, you know I've done worse than this but you know it's not fun every time I see this this is just something to actually you know admire because this is this is big so this is it basically this is the showing of the harness that is in your car that connects your mass airflows on v12 and this room for example I can gauge about the distance this is my little workshop room as you can see I got all my stuff here like and um, it's about probably like six seven feet when it's as it lays and width wise probably about uh, three f three to four feet in width but again I just laid it out like that if you were to stretch it it's even longer it would be like about 12 feet or so if you stretch it from one end to another so it's a, it's a very long harness so this is it I'll make another video when harness is repaired I think and um, just show it to you guys and just to show what I'm doing here Alright, well, this was Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com. Thanks for watching.